What's up dudes? Uh, welcome back to the Kali Linux desktop. Today we are going to be going over some terminal uh, basic commands and uh, basically just getting familiar with the terminal. Um, there is a lot of tools in Kali Linux as we kind of went over last time. Um, you can see those tools by going up here and then uh, going down under either all applications or you can just kind of scroll through the categories here you can see there is a lot um, unfortunately uh, and somewhat fortunately because uh, the command line is a very powerful tool um, a lot of these don't have graphical user interfaces or GUI for short uh, which means that in order to use some of these tools you will need to use the command line you have no other choice um, so it's really important if you are wanting to use Linux and use Kali Linux specifically to be familiar with the command line um, so I'm going to show you a few basic commands just to get you started uh, and you know get you moving around in the command line um, one thing I do want to do first, you can see uh, if you watched the last video, this is a little bit different uh, color than last time. Um, and let me know if you like this color. It's I do want to uh, increase the font size a little bit. Um, and so I'm going to show you how to do that real quick. So under File, you can go to Preferences. And then you have all these different preferences here. Uh, appearance is where you want to go though. And then you've got your color scheme. So I've, I'm using the green on black right now, but there's a bunch of different ones. Uh, and you can also up the font or, you know, downsize the font if you want to. I think I'm going to go up to probably like 17. I think 17 is probably a safe bet. Yeah, this seems, yeah, this seems doable. But yeah, so there's a lot of different uh, customization options within the terminal. You know, you can make it how you want it to look. You can make it look like the old timey hacky style like I've got here. Um, so to get into it, uh, we're going to go over just a few basic commands to get you understanding what the terminal does and how to use it. So the very most basic common uh, common command that you're going to use is ls. Just like that, if you hit enter, you're going to see the output of desktop, documents, downloads, music, pictures, public, templates, and videos. This is for my desktop, and if you haven't changed anything about your terminal yours should look similar to this so what ls does is it lists hence the term ls it lists the contents of the directory that you are currently in what is a directory well if you came from windows a directory is a folder it's just a different name for a folder so ls will show you all of the contents in your current directory well, you might be wondering, what directory are we in? Linux is also really good at providing that information with a PWD command, uh, which stands for Print Working Directory. Go ahead and enter with that, <clears throat> and you can see slash home slash Kali. That's where we are. That is also a location that is aliased in in Linux um, what that means is that slash home slash Kali which is the user that we are in um, the home directory of the current user is represented by a tilde which is on my keyboard it's the uh, key above the left tab key so you can you can get to home in two ways uh, with the tilde or with slash home slash Kali and you can actually see right here um, the tilde tells me where I am currently and it is slash home slash Kali so if we want to move around we can do a CD CD stands for change directory um, so just as a refresher we're going to ls again so we can see what our options are 
so we can move into any of these directories so if we want to do cd documents we can type cd documents just like that uh, and this is case sensitive so make sure that you're being exact and then we can press enter and as you can see our directory changed so now we are under home slash documents and visually um, I might actually uh, do this because this might help so visually we are under Kali which is our home directory documents and as you can see there is if I can find a good place to put this I'll just put it right here so you can see actually that within our home directory we have documents downloads music pictures it's the same directories that were listed when we did our ls command so all this is doing is it's showing us the file system and this is what most people are probably used to so it's easy to kind of like see the when you look at it side by side that this is just a, a directory listing um, so now that we're in documents right what do we do like so so we know how to move around now we can we can ls we can see what's inside but there is nothing inside the documents folder so there's not really anything to see there um, and there's no where to go now we can't cd into something that doesn't exist so what do we do uh, well linux has a solution for this and it's called dot dot just like that so if you do cd space dot dot or period period and then press enter you will see that you move up to the previous directory that you were in so that is how Linux solves the problem of uh, navigating up and down the directory structure. And you can actually, even though it starts you out in the home directory, you can navigate outside of the home directory. So now we are up one. We're in the slash home directory. And if we do ls, we can see Kali, which is our user. Uh, we can actually do this again. And this will put us in the root directory. This is the slash directory without any other, no, no slash home, no slash home, slash Kali, just slash. And this is the root directory. And if we ls here, we're going to see a lot of stuff. And this is stuff that we'll go over in future videos. Uh, we're not going to, you know, we're, we're not going to cover any of this right now because this is not basic stuff. This is going to be more, uh, it's going to warrant more information than what we're going to give here. Um, but just so you know it exists you can play around poke around do what you want but for now we're going to go back down so CD and then we can do boom and then we can do LS and we can see Cali so we can do CD Cali now that was kind of cumbersome so now now we're back in the home directory can we make that faster yes <clears throat> so let's do CD dot dot and then we'll do cd dot dot one more time so we're back in the root directory but now we know where we want to go we want to go to slash home slash cali right so we can do cd space slash home slash cali and that will pop us all the way down into our home directory now there's even faster way to do this too uh, with the home directory specifically so if we do cd dot dot and we can also apply this concept um, going backward too so if we want to move up two levels we can do cd dot dot slash dot dot and this will move us up all the way to the root directory two levels up you can do that as many times as you want oops you can do that so many times until you know you're at the top so this won't do anything because i'm already at the root directory um so now how do we get to the home directory quickly without having to type home cali well if you'll remember we've got that uh, tilde alias here so actually all we have to do is do cd tilde and that will drop us down into our home directory again so now 
that we know how to move around a little bit. You know, we can navigate the directory structure <clears throat> up and down, and we can kind of use shortcuts to get to different places, right? But what do we do? How, like, wh what do we do now? There's, you know, we can look at files, but how do we open them? How do we make them? How do we make more directories? <clears throat> so I'm going to show you that now. Uh, first off, we're just going to go to CD documents. And one nice, beautiful trick that Linux has for us, <clears throat> excuse me, is that we can use tab completion. So currently in the directory that we're in, we have desktops, documents, and downloads that all start with D. So if I do CD D right now, and I press tab, it tells me what my options are. So now, if I want to go to Documents, if I did DO and press Tab, I still have two things that start with DO, so it doesn't quite know what to do. Um, but if I do DOC and press Tab, it will auto-complete for me. And then I can press Enter, and I drop into the Documents folder. So now, since we don't have anything in here, we are going to create a directory. And in order to do that, we do MKDIR. And that stands for make directory. And then we got to give it a name. So we'll just say, please sub. Just a completely random name. You know, it doesn't actually mean anything at all. Just whatever comes to your head first. And then if you do LS, you can see that you have a directory now. So we can CD into our please sub directory and we can even use tab completion here so we don't have to type the whole thing. And then now we are back into a empty directory because we've drilled down and we're, we will actually open up the file system here and I will show you under documents, we have our please sub folder which is empty now. So we are actually affecting the file system and we can see that graphically here. So now we want to put a file into this uh, this directory here. So what do we do? Uh, in order to put a file, just an empty file, we can do touch and then the name of the file that we want to do. So we'll do um, please like just like that random doesn't mean anything at all i don't even know where i came up with that and then you press enter and we can now list the contents of the directory and we can see please like but it is a different color than please sub because this is a file this is not a directory so how do we interact with a file well in order to read a file we can say cat and then the name of the file. So we'll do P and then tab complete for please like. And there's nothing in there. So that was a little anticlimactic. So we need to put something into this file. How do we do that? Well, we can, just for the sake of simplicity for now, I'm going to use the text editor here uh, because we'll go over uh, command line text editors in a in a future video so for now we'll just keep it simple use the graphical text editor and we'll go ahead and do file open and then find our find our please like file under the please sub folder and double click it and now we are editing our file so we can just say hello please sub oh my god please I need it please just like that random input uh, and then you can go ahead and save it just file save and close it down and now when we do cat please like but you know what I don't want to type out the whole thing so here's another trick for you uh, using the up and down arrows on your keyboard you can actually scroll through all of the commands that you have been using. So, the, f the last command that we used was cat please like. I don't want to type it in again, so here it is. Press enter, 
and what do you know we've got hello please sub omg please i need it please in our file and there it is you've got a basic understanding of how to use the linux command line now there is really not anything else that uh, i need to show you up to this point uh, that is beyond the absolute basics so go ahead and play around make some directories uh, make some files type some stuff in those files you know poke around see go uh, go all the way up to the very top of the cd slash root directory and ls that and look around um, next video we'll go over some more uh, some more complicated uh, options for these for these uh, commands such as just to give you a little taste we'll go ahead and CD into our home directory again and then we'll do LS dash L and we've got a lot more output than we're used to seeing at this point so we'll go over what's going on here but just know that every command most every command has these dash options or some sort of uh, extra options that you can add on to them that will make the command behave differently so we'll go over that in the next one i'll probably have a link somewhere uh, up here so all right take care guys till next time